I've already shuffled and I'll be using two oracle cards for your recent past. There are the two cards to the very far left side of the screen. Then I'll go over the present time, how your person is seeing you, how you see them, and why this is all happening. So, Gemini, in the recent past, we have heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. And that's what that oracle card is about. And it's paired with Valor. On the flip side of Valor, it reads, Be courageous. The unmistakable touch of grace will follow you wherever you go. Or it follows us wherever we go. So, that's what it says on the back of the card. So, in the recent past, you probably felt you needed a lot of conversation and, and talk with your person. Or regarding, um, or it could have been a situation, but I'm picking up it's with a person because I see a couple here. And um, you need, you felt you needed to honestly discuss your feelings with each other. And you needed to be courageous. There was a need to be courageous to do this because you probably felt like you didn't have the courage to do so. So, once you did have the heart to heart conversations, you realized that um, it was a wonderful thing and it actually helped the connection, it helped the relationship. And that's what it's saying, grace followed you wherever you went. So. You just needed to be courageous and have a lot of heart-to-heart -heart talk. I don't know what the situation was, but it, look, it, it looks like it was calling for a lot of deep conversations in the recent past. So you just needed to stand up, be strong, and uh, go in for it and have those discussions that, that was probably hard to do at that time. So... Let's move on down and take a look at the present time. We have the Four of Cups, and it's paired with the Two of Pentacles. Now, the Four of Cups is about wishful thinking. It warns us to remember to pay attention to what is now and count the many blessings that we each currently experience and not to worry too much about what could be because we all know it's really easy to overlook what we already have in pursuit of what we don't have. So this card is basically about being sure that you're counting your blessings at this time. Don't spend too much time in self-pity or wishing your life away. A lot of life has to do with where we put our focus. So put your focus on things and people in your life that you have to be thankful for. Now when this Four of Cups talks about love and relationships, it's about taking a good hard look at yourself basically to... Um, well, take a hard look at yourself as to whether you're being realistic when it comes to love. You would probably ask yourself, do you have your heart set to the exclusion of everyone else or on someone who isn't giving you much back or who is quite literally unavailable? So, this Four of Cups is paired with the Two of Pentacles. Now, Two of Pentacles could be about two main issues. Two main issues at front in your mind. You could need to pull back from trying to do quite so many things because at this time, multitasking is not going to be your friend. You may need to cut down on the things that you're doing in order to focus on two main priorities. Your financial situation may need more balance at this time so be sure you're paying attention there when this two of pentacles talks about love and relationships if you're in a committed relationship you and your person you could be having some trouble finding energy for each other so make sure the relationship means make sure the relationship remains high on your priority list at this time otherwise it's not going to be there for you when you come back for it and if you're looking for love um, and you're single Geminis and you get this two of pentacles in your reading as you are uh, don't tell 
yourself that you're ready for a relationship if you're truly not. Just know that you don't have to be perfect, but you do have to be willing to create time, space, and energy to put into romance. So, with these two cards paired together for your present time, Four of Cups and Two of Pentacles. Like I said, with the Two of Pentacles, you've got a lot of stuff going on. You could be juggling, multitasking, and it's really not your friend at this time. Uh, you're doing a lot of wishful thinking, too. A lot of wishful thinking. Yep. Maybe you're wishing that you had more time to put into a connection or a relationship. Because you're doing a lot of juggling with this Two of Pentacles. You need to pull back from trying to pay attention to quite so many things. And then you're wishful thinking. You, you might be forgetting to count your blessings. Yeah, so you might want to just slow down a little bit and count your blessings. Yeah, count your blessings at this time. It could be hard to do when you're trying to juggle and multitask. But it's going to be important for you to, to slow down a little bit and, and realize that you're blessed. That's what these two cards are saying. Okay, that's for your present time. Now let's move on down and take a look at uh, how they see you. The person you're dealing with. How they view you. How they're viewing this connection. Um, the Ace of Wands and the King of Swords. Now the Ace of Wands is about new beginnings. It, it's very positive ones. Uh, they could be in the area of accomplishments and are related to work or career or could go family, romance. And if you're having a difficult time now, just know that things are going to get better very soon with this Ace of Wands. Because this card is about uh, being upbeat, optimistic, and hopeful about your future with a real good cause. So you're likely to be feeling quite energetic and positive, or you will be feeling that way soon. This ace, it tells you that now is a good time to start something new. And when it talks about love and relationships, if you're single, this is, a indi well, this is an indicator of a new beginning. A new love relationship coming your way. So make yourself available for love in whatever way makes sense to you at this time. And if you're already in a relationship, this card tells you that the relationship is about to undergo a brand new beginning. And uh, it will rise to new levels of understanding each other. So it's important to express yourself at this time. This Ace of Wands is paired with the King of Swords. The King of Swords is a very powerful, forceful, opinionated man in your life. When it comes to love, uh, this king can, it can mean that somebody strong, like I said, forceful, they're, they're probably opinionated, they're part of your scenario, and this man, if he's your lover, your husband, your partner, it means that you're probably going to have to accept him the way he is. And whether you're female or male, you'll best deal with him by drawing on your feminine aspects of your nature. So pull out your feminine charm. But don't put up with being mistreated. You don't want to do that. Because this man, he can walk the line between being stereotypically manly and overstepping his bounds, so you might need to protect yourself, Gemini's. So, your person that you're dealing with in this connection, they see you as a new beginning, a beautiful, fresh start. They're optimistic. Well, they see you as being optimistic, and they see you as a new beginning. A very upbeat, bright uh, new beginning with a really good cause. So, it's going to feel like a brand new love relationship. That's how they see you. 
as a brand new or either it, or it either feels like it's undergoing a new beginning for some reason that's how they see you and they see you with this king they see you as this king of swords they see you as a, a forceful type of energy opinionated sometimes you overstep your bounds um, but they still want this new beginning with you that's how they see you so uh, it looks like they're learning to deal with this forceful energy that you that you are or you sometimes are because they want this new beginning with you so obviously it doesn't really bother them or they've learned to draw on their feminine aspect of themselves and it's working because the king of swords is that narcissistic card and a lot of people have a hard time dealing with narcissists but it's saying with this ace of wands it's working and it's turning out to be a new beginning uh, that's how they see you narcissistic but loving it so there we have sometimes narcissistic people do have successful relationships now let's take a look at how you see them okay you see them as the five of pentacles and the six of cups now the five of pentacles it points to a time in your life where you're feeling less insecure the important thing to remember is that there's always help available when we need it from forces seen and unseen you could be feeling alone but you have the capacity to change that so reach out at this time you could feel like you're left out in the cold for some reason as though everyone in the world has everything and you're the only one suffering just realize that this is not the case, so do the best you can with what you have. And remember, the wise thing to do is to get help if you need so. If you need help, ask for it and the help you need will come. And this Five of Pentacles, when it talks about love and relationships, is not a particularly, particularly happy indicator when it comes to love questions. Uh, it's not you may have your eye on someone you feel that's not treating you the way they should it may be that you need to stop fantasizing about this person entirely this card can be a card about feeling left out in the cold wow we just talked about that we just talked about you dealing with the narcissist okay so maybe they're making you feel like you're left out in the cold but it could be about that sometimes and um, so you may need to stop fantasizing about this person um, this well it's important to remember that there is never only one person that you can be with and have a soul level happy meaningful relationship because when love is right you will not have to do back backflips you will not to make it work broaden your horizons and try hard to think positive so this five of pentacles that's how you see them you see them as feeling alone in this connection you see them as being left out in the cold or suffering from this connection so you see them as feeling less secure not really secure in this connection so it's paired with the six of cups now the six of cups if you're in a romantic relationship this card can indicate that the relationship may need to be refocused towards the future talk about your goals and dreams try new things it's important now not to stay stuck in the past on occasions this card it can signify the reappearance of an old lover an ex a long lost love the long well let's say the 
the thing to do is think long and hard before restarting an old romance. Because you know what they say, exes are exes for a reason. Okay, so that's how you see them. You see them as focus toward the past. So they could be holding on to something that happened in the past. They could be holding on to an ex. They could be holding on to something that happened in this connection in the past. But they're clinging to it. They're kind of, and you know that you see them as needing to refocus towards the future. Yeah, so it's causing, probably causing them to feel alone and left out in the cold. And um, and it's making them feel, you see them as this making them feel less than secure. So... That's how you see them needing, you see them as needing to refocus towards the future. They're stuck in the head about something from the past, how things used to be. And it's causing a little bit of a problem because um, you see that it's causing them to feel like they're suffering. So, let's move on down and take a look at why it's all happening. We have the Tower and the Hermit. Now, the Tower is about trying to hold on too tightly to the status quo. It can be a disaster if you do that. You have to roll with the changes at this time. It's likely that some people, situations that you counted on as being there for you may no longer be there in quite the same way. Keep in mind, this does not have to be drastic. Changes the nature of life. So if we try to prevent it, it's going to be like trying to row upstream without a paddle. And if you've been building some castles in the air, this could be the time that some of them come crashing down. Keep in mind, that's only going to be a problem if you let it be. Uh, Yep, only if you let it be, because you'll be able to replace them with some more realistic and reachable dreams and goals. If some of them fall apart this month, dreaming is, is going to be important, but it's also important to be living in a reality too. When this tower card talks about love and relationships, this can be, but not necessarily, an indicator of a relationship that's about to end. So if you're in a relationship that you absolutely, positively do not want to see come to an end, this is an important time for damage control, for clear communications. Find out where your partner's head is. Find out what they're feeling. Talk a whole lot. Communicate. Don't make assumptions. Find out for sure. So this is why it's all happening. Um... Something has probably fallen apart. Something has come crashing down in this connection, in this relationship. So it's, it's happening because there's a need for a lot of talk and communication. And that's probably what is lacking. So it, it caused a... It feels like a disaster in the connection right now because there's a need for talk. So if someone wants to talk, yeah, someone wants to talk. Uh, that way this connection will be enlightened by whatever disaster took place. But um, it's all about discussion and talking a whole lot at this time. Because it's paired with the Hermit card. Now, it's possible with this Hermit card that uh, romance from the past. We talked about someone from the past before. I don't know, is this a past person that we're dealing with, Gemini? So, someone from the past could be rekindled, a romance. Hmm. You have to ask yourself again, is that what you really want? Because it seems right now that romantic relationships are not priority for you right now. 
If your head says that you want nothing more than a romantic relationship, look at your behavior. Does it align with that analysis? That's what you should ask yourself. In a committed relationship, you two might be moving in different directions for a while. So make sure to make the time and effort to stay connected in order to keep the sparks alive. So basically, why it's all happening is because, some, like I said, something came crashing down. And it's probably, probably because uh, you two weren't really communicating like you should. So it's with this hermit card. Someone is not making the connection a priority. So that's probably why it's hard to uh, keep this tower from coming down. Someone is, is not or did not make it a priority at that time. And then it just came down, came crashing down. Yeah, if someone feels like um, they need to clear their mind, possibly, with this Hermit card. And they need time alone. But right now is really not the time for that. It's really not the time because this connection needs to be picked back up with a lot of talk. Because it, it, it's... It's going to come crashing down or it has already come down. So somebody wants to kind of withdraw like the hermit, but uh, it's not suggested with these two readings. So yeah, someone needs, this connection needs to come back to focus and do a whole lot of talking. Someone wants to talk, but someone wants to withdraw. Uh, someone could just be not good at communicating or expressing their feelings, but it needs the connection. It needs to be picked back up, and these two cards are saying it needs to be done with a lot of communication to keep the sparks alive and to pick it back up. So it's not saying it's ending, but it's probably about to drop to the ground, and someone is. Um, not making it a priority, but uh, someone's kind of stuck in their head. Wants to walk, walk, wants to walk away like that man is doing. If you can see the picture of the car, they just want to walk away and be alone. And we all know that's not healthy for a couple in a relationship. Uh, it takes two to make a thing go right. You know how that song goes. So that's why it's all happening, Gemini's. So. I hope you enjoyed this reading. There's going to be a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation, what's in the near future for the two of you, how you see yourself, best case scenario, and what's going to happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. Uh, if I don't get a chance to do the extended, there's always a link below for personal readings. I just want to say thank you so very much for watching. I appreciate it. Please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I hope that your February is working out for you and it's a beautiful month. Um, and I just want to say I hope that you have a great day. Once again, thank you so much for watching. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.